Hi everybody, welcome to our new video. Uh, uh, we are uh, happy that we got something new to bring to you. And uh, today we're going to look at into the error which says Elementor requires WordPress version 5.0 plus uh, because you are using uh, an earlier version. The plugin is currently not running. Okay. Uh, once you see this, uh, after install the installation of some plugins, it's not only Elementor which gives uh, this kind of error. Uh, there are a couple of uh, plugins which gonna throw up something like this. You can see also this another plugin. It says uh, Smart Slider 3 requires PHP version 7.0 plus. Plugin is currently not running. Uh, current PHP version is 5.6.40 and uh, this one say it needs 5.0 uh, plus something. So we have two plugins. Uh, it's the same thing. Each and every plugin at least they require our version of uh, WordPress to be a little bit uh, newer than what we have. So uh, what is the solution here? It's going to be simple. We can see the maintenance mode is active, whatever, no, leave that. So what I want to show you that I did install uh, Elementor and uh, it's like a useless because I don't use it. So in case you're working in your site, you want to put your Amazon uh, products, uh, you maybe you have, oh, you know, all those things we do. Uh, then you maybe you boost it with your Facebook ads and also you use your Google ads. Uh, to make more to try to attract more clients to get more sales that could also Be a problem if you don't fix these uh, kind of errors. So Elementor is uh, Installed, but now it can't work. We can't use it and also smart slider 3. We cannot use it So because of the requirements uh, they believe uh, You better use the new version because there's more security and more stable stability you know some of the functions in the old versions of php when we are removed or so in the new ones so so when people create new softwares they don't support those old functions so now we're gonna go to our plugins and we see if we can get anything closer to what we're trying to do so you click on your plugins and uh, we're gonna see if you wanna see elementor as you can see elementor is uh, uh active but now uh, we cannot use it because uh, its requirements we don't we haven't met the requirements so to make that uh, uh, an example we can click on pages and then click on any page you can see when you click on any page it can't give you any option to say uh, that edit with Elementor so nothing happens here because we don't have Elementor uh, Elementor is what um, uh, what they call requirements so you can see here we're on this page but we can't also use elementor because of that reason so anyway guys don't worry about that that's why we're here to fix that problem so now what you're gonna do make sure you have your access to your cpanel i've got access to the pc panel what you do you do this you know uh anyway i want to uh, explain that uh too uh one thing is uh, uh some of the uh the softwares won't look like mine and uh, some gonna look like mine but it's gonna be the same procedure if you find a software uh, the hosting company gave you your cpanel does not look like mine it, it's not a stress you're gonna look uh, on the things the way they look like it's the same way sometimes they look like on a new software another software but they just have a different design and sometimes a different way they call them so what you do you're gonna go and scroll down and find the section where there is software you see this is software you can see php pal packages optimize website uh, pal modules malt php manager site software malt php in editor so what you do you can you click on multiple hp manager uh, so when you're here, uh, so you can see the version we're using is a 5.6 So we want to take to the latest version you, uh, Even if you select this is fine, but uh, I'm gonna select the latest version and then I Try to apply so if you try to apply and it doesn't work Simply means that uh, 
warning php version 5 of four whatever uh okay this version is duplicated deprecated and uh, we recommend that you update to to a supported version of php okay you can see now they say for more information read whatever okay so now what you do you select let me select another version they don't give me this access to do this why because of one reason let me check uh, once i check that and i select this i get the application button so i thought i'm gonna have a problem why because it wanted me to select on uh you can see if you don't select a website uh they think like sometimes you might have five websites you have to tell them which one do you want to update or upgrade the software on so what you do you select this and select php point three uh then you say okay then you apply once you apply it's gonna upgrade to the latest php let's see what's gonna happen okay uh, this has happened you can see the version has changed i want us to refresh and see what is next i'm using f5 to do that to refresh and we can see that uh, our php is changed to php 7.3 so that's right we can go to our thing and you can see the error is still there but uh, what i'm gonna do i'm gonna uh, do what cut it uh, i'm gonna refresh and it's gonna disappear it should disappear because we've given it what it wants refresh there after refreshing it says requires 5 point what because you are using whatever okay i'm going to refresh still okay so now uh you can see that uh, the another message uh is not here anymore because we did uh uh the one for elementor requires whatever so that one we did uh do delete it and uh we don't have that second thing so the maintenance mode is on whatever whatever so deactivate as soon as you're done okay maintenance mode okay now we're still having that stress but it simply means that's gonna be uh something you have to refresh and do whatever anyway if you get that it is no stress because we can also uh do this let me try to go here it simply means the catch it hasn't uh been uh did what done like uh, it hasn't been f uh refreshed it needs us to refresh using our catch and uh, that's when elementor is gonna work but that anyway that's what you have to do um now uh, uh what we're going to do is uh we want to try to see if we can take out elementor the one we have then we install another one and see if that's gonna work for us so what we're gonna do uh, i'm gonna copy uh what they call uh okay that's and uh, deactivate this after deactivation then i'll go to another page like posts then i come back to your what they call plugins and uh, i try to uh do what they call activate and uh, after that if it doesn't work uh, uh it simply means it's gonna be giving me some trouble it's not that we deactivate it and uh, i think we should also delete it delete that okay after deleting that you can click somewhere else click somewhere else okay in order to use the Shapely companion plugin you have also installed the shape okay leave that alone so what you're gonna do we don't see that message anymore because we took off elementor so now what we're gonna do we're gonna go to plugin and uh, we try to install new 
and we see if we can get that what we want okay you look for uh, type in that word and uh, you're gonna get it you say install Then you activate. After activation, still it gives us that problem. But anyway, that is something which we've done. You are using earlier versions. The plugin is currently not running. So this uh, should be now by the thing of the, I would say the, the catch. And uh, I'm gonna try my best to do what to click here and uh, I do uh, deactivate again no I don't need to do that I believe on your side everything is fine my side I don't know what happened but uh, uh, I think I need to to refresh and refresh stuff like that also delete the catch stuff like that in WordPress so once I'm, uh, I delete the, that those catch, mine should also work. Understand? So I hope that helps, guys. The only reason why you get this thing is because of your version of PHP. We've done that. We still on my side seeing that, but it doesn't mean yours won't work. Yours is gonna work 100%. So please try it. Me, what I have to do, I have to run some setups whereby I have to make clear the catch in the database and stuff so it's the, 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 the program is still remembering that old PHP which we have changed now I don't believe that could stop you also proceed to change your PHP version thanks for watching guys don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video